welcome back to my tarot corner and uh, today I want to check a, a tweet that I saw where Hillary Clinton is um, uh, talking about uh, Megan and how uh, what and how she um, she's um, actually um, well I forgot the word uh, talking th uh, good things about her, uh, commending her for uh, uh, talking about uh, the fact that uh, which, uh, uh, parents don't have to choose between uh, the welfare of their children and uh, money issues and uh, let's say that she is supporting uh, Megan's uh, letter and I wanted to check first of all with the Lenormand uh, deck uh, what is the relationship between those two and I uh, took um, because of this Lenormand uh, deck doesn't have two ladies so uh, I combined two ladies from two different decks and um, because I really wanted to use this deck. So um, I'm going to check first with the Lenormand and then with the Tarot. So let's start with the Lenormand and see what we get. So the relationship between Hillary Clinton and Meghan Markle. Relationship between Hillary Clinton and Meghan Markle. Relationship between Hillary Clinton and Meghan Markle. And I want to explain why I'm doing the shuffling in front of the camera because first of all, I think it's important that you see that I do that. And secondly, because I know from my tarot master that it is important to say <clears throat> the question aloud when you shuffle. Uh, because then you actually uh, put the question inside the tarot deck. How it happens, I don't know. I, I am a very uh, uh, non-spiritual person, or never used to be. Uh, I'm a physician, and you know everything has to have some kind of uh, a, um, a scientific explanation. And when I started the t learning, uh, studying, I'm sorry, uh, tarot, I asked my, uh, my teacher about that. And he said, there is no explanation. But when you say, when and you say the, the, um, um, the question aloud and you really mean it, the, the question enters the card and you get the cards that you need. So uh, now I spoke so much, so I have to do it all over again. <laughs> So first I'm, all, I'm clearing the cards from what happened before and I'm asking again. So what is the relationship between Meghan Markle and Hillary Clinton? Relationship between Meghan Markle and Hillary Clinton? Relationship between Meghan Markle and Hillary Clinton? And now I will cut the deck. And let's start first card the ring so the ring is a card of partnership it's a card of uh, uh, being together so this is a very good card uh, this shows that uh, uh, it, it is like an engagement ring this actually shows that they have a, a, a very uh, um, 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 very very good relationship and that they are uh, also uh, in partnership with one another so I wouldn't be um, at all surprised to learn that uh, Hillary Clinton is uh, backing uh, Megan uh, in her political endeavors uh, because of this um, this uh, um, card and I'm just checking to see if there is something that I missed about this card I don't think so but I'm just checking anyway because not I don't always remember everything about the uh, Lenormand 
So I'm looking at the uh, book. So just excuse me for one moment. So the ring is a, is also a promise, dedication, union. So exactly what I said. Okay. Second is the bouquet. Okay, the bouquet is another card of partnership, another card of a loving relationship uh, and of uh, doing things together. Uh, it's like, you know, the bouquet that uh, a man brings a woman when he's courting her. So it is also a card that speaks about partnership. So there's no doubt in my mind that there is a partnership between the both of them and that there is a good relationship between the both of them. Uh, and uh, it also speaks about happiness, uh, about success. Okay, the third card is the stork. Okay, now I don't remember what the stork means, so I have to check. So card number 17. Just one moment, okay. So, no, that's the stars, the stork. The stork is changes, loyalty to principles and traditions and care. So that's not a bad card either. So uh, there is a, a, some kind of possible of change. Uh, but uh, maybe of a change of the relationship and maybe from a bad relationship it changed to a good one or maybe there will be a change for the worse in the future but right now there are there is loyalty between them there is care there is uh, uh, some kind of tradition so uh, uh, I, I think that Hillary sees Megan as someone who is uh, caring for tradition and the ring and the bouquet all all cards are showing very uh, tight connection this that was the uh, the uh, word that I was looking for so that's the Lenormand and now we'll check what the tarot has to say and I'm just shuffling the cards and we'll see what the tarot has to say about their relationship. And I think that because I want to see the whole story here, I will draw five cards and then see the underlying energy and see if there is something underlying there Okay, so a relationship between Meghan Markle and uh, Hillary Clinton, relationship between Meghan Markle and Hillary Clinton, relationship between Meghan Markle and Hillary Clinton. Okay. Oh, we'll do one more, just to feel that it's really shuffled. Okay. Another important thing is to use your left arm. Uh, why? Because it is the arm, it's, it is the uh, uh, arm that is close to the heart. Oh, that's what my uh, uh, professor used to say. So anyway, uh, let's start with the first card. And the first card is the King of Swords. Okay, so the King of Swords is the pacifier, is the one that uh, needs um, that everything will be uh, in equilibrium uh, around him. He wants to make sure that everyone is pacified. He wants peace around him. This is someone who abhors uh, arguments. So this, I think, uh, maybe represents Hillary Clinton, uh, probably not Megan, uh, because and maybe because she she saw all the scrutiny around. Uh, what uh, around the letter that Megan wrote, she uh, needed, she felt the need to go out and uh, and um, 
mild it a little bit by supporting her and uh, because she has this need to uh, pacify and to uh, have uh, some kind of uh, uh, to appease uh, appease people around her now I don't know what sign Hillary Clinton is but the sign of the king of swords is an air sign so and it, it is usually the um, Libra uh, but it could be any other air sign uh, person uh, but it is very uh, very typical to the Libra so this is the first card. Second card is um, the tower. Now, why do I always get the tower with Meghan Markle? It is just amazing because it, I don't think, I, I think that there are maybe uh, four or five uh, out of 90 uh, readings that I did that I didn't get the tower with Megan. So the tower speaks about the foundations. Now, when the foundations are not strong, the tower cannot be strong and it crumbles apart. And this is exactly what happened with uh, Megan. Megan uh, could have written the letter without uh, all of the uh, insinuation about uh, what a terrible childhood she had. But it was very, very easy to find that she was lying there. And this is exactly what someone who has the tower as an archetype does. Someone who, because she, because she has the tower as an archetype, uh, she, everything that she's trying to build is built upon very, very weak foundations, and then it crumbles and falls. Now, if she she could have written the letter without speaking about uh, uh, the four ninety nine Sizzler salad. She could, she, and then nobody would have uh, uh, taken a, a look uh, for uh, the TIG uh, uh, archives and uh, find that uh, she wrote about uh, having a, a, a recurrent uh, a, a, lunches or dinners where, with their parents uh, in uh, very fancy restaurants in LA. Uh, she didn't have to uh, uh, use her poor childhood as, uh, um, as uh, in order to uh, prove her point or to, uh, uh, to um, show her point to others. Uh, you don't have to uh, start talking about yourself, but she had to uh, uh, talk about how uh, miserable she was as a child. And of course, it all crumbled down around her because everything is built on very, very um, shallow and low and, and weak foundations. So this is the archetype for Megan. And the next card is the sun. So we're talking about happiness. So that's this happiness and abundance. And this is probably the way she felt when she saw that tweet from Hillary Clinton. Because after all the scrutiny and being called a liar in her face, uh, then comes Hillary Clinton and um, praises her. That was the word that I was looking for. Praises her so much and says her praise in, in, to, for the whole world to see. So this is how she felt. She felt very, very happy. Okay, and what is the next card? The next card is the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords speaks about deciding not to decide. When the Four of Swords comes, it is um, someone who might be sick, but it is someone who has to rest, uh, who has to stop doing things, and it has to not decide not to decide, decide not to do. And this is exactly what Megan needs to understand, that this is what she needs to do right now. Stop doing things, because everything she does is built on very weak 
foundation and it is bound to fall apart. Be and this is what she needs right now. She needs to rest and she needs to stop doing things and start thinking about what has been in the past. This card says that uh, you are not ready to make a decision. The process is not clear. Thinking about things, indecision, and not acting. So don't act, think about what happened before, and then decide what to do. But right now, you are not ready for a decision. So this is the fourth card. And the fifth card is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is the Wish Come True card. And this is another happy card. And if we look at the whole story, so I can say that this card represents Hillary Clinton. And this card represents Megan. This card represents the way uh, Megan felt after she saw uh, Hillary uh, praising her. This card represents what she needs to do right now and the wish come true card represents what will happen what what will happen if she will take the advice of a, a resting and deciding not to decide or actually do what she uh, said that she would do from the beginning and take uh, an indefinite parental uh, leave of absence. Uh, the underlying energy is the Queen of Wands. How not? The Queen of Wands is always the uh, Megan card for me. Uh, she is a Leo. She is the Queen, the, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands is the egotistical. Uh, woman, the woman who wants to be seen as the leader, but mainly thinks about herself, mainly thinks about the things that are close to her. It could be her own children, it could be her own family, if she cares about her family, but only about the thing that she cares about, not the world. This is exactly the uh, opposite of the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is the one who is the idealistic, the one who thinks about the global things. The Queen of Wands thinks about herself, but she wants to be seen as the um, leader, uh, but she's not. So this is the underlying energy, and this is the reading about uh, Hillary and Megan, and I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like and subscribe. And leave me a comment and uh, you can also email me and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.